Hello and welcome to all my little projects. Um, I want to start with taking the engine out of my 1973 VW Bug. I don't have a car lift, so I only used um, jacks and floor stands to get it out. Um, it was in the fall, so it was already getting cold. So I advise you, if you do this, do it in summer or do it on a lift or maybe if you're lucky in a heated garage. It did take me longer than I thought it would. So this is the project. To safely secure the vehicle from rolling forward, I will put two blocks of wood in front of the tire and after it is checked up, I will put another one behind it so it won't roll on me while I'm under the vehicle. I will start with disconnecting the electrical system. There are only a few wires connected to the engine, but I still take pictures so I'll know where they came from later. I forgot to disconnect the cable behind the fan shroud where there is the Audi symbol on it and the cable is hanging downwards. This was no big deal, but if you have the chance before it, disconnect it. In order to take out the electrical system, you also need to take out the airbox. This is sometimes connected with some hoses. Mine is an oil based airbox, so it could spill out oil if you tip it over. Now the air hoses get disconnected. Mine are in a really poor state, so I'll have to replace them. Now I am taking out the back plate. This is a good chance to give it a little coating in fresh paint. Notice how I put the screws in boxes. This makes it easier to put the engine back in later. I also notice that my rear seal is old and teared, so I'll have to replace it. Here you see me disconnecting the throttle cable. I'm also pulling out the tube around the throttle cable that guides it through the fan shroud. I do not think that you have to take it out all the way. It maybe is enough if you just give it a little pull so it clears the engine seal on the back side.
since I did not have enough space and light under the vehicle, I took pictures after the engine was out to show you where you need to disconnect the stuff. The yellow circles are the heater cables that need to be disconnected. The orange dots are where the heater pipe goes from the heater channels to the cab. The green circle is where the fuel needs to be disconnected and you need to crimp it off. The uh, blue dot is where the throttle cable is coming through. Here are the bolts that need to be disconnected for the engine. The yellow ones are accessed from behind and the green one is accessed from above the vehicle behind the French route. The top left one, the yellow one, is hard to get to. I'll show you a trick to get there in a second. Uh, here you see the engine from the back side. There's already one heater channel missing, I'm sorry for that. There's in green is where the heater channel is and where the heater pipes need to be disconnected. The blue ones are the, uh, the, the bolts that hold the engine on. The orange circle is where the bow or the, where the throttle cable comes through and the reddish one is the fuel pipe. Here's a trick for the hard to get to top left screw. You need to have your ratchet set up like this and lay straight under the vehicle and grab around the gearbox. This is the way you access the top left screw. It is kind of hard to get to but you can get there with a spanner. All the bolts are 17 millimeters, I think. Now it's finally time to pull out the engine. First we check whether we disconnected everything and then we protect the apron. I found this pillow laying on the forklift. To support the engine, you put a check stand underneath the oil train pan. This is where the engine is balanced to. Then you raise up the engine a little bit and pull it backwards until it comes loose. In my case, this took a little bit. After I had the engine on the ground, I realized that the back of the car is not high enough to get the engine out underneath it. So I needed to borrow a higher shack stand, which helped me to get out the engine underneath it.